I just wanted to point out some of the physical changes that are expected to appear of the feet the more you run minimalist and run or walk barefoot and why these changes really matter. As soon as you go minimalistic or especially barefoot, one of the early returns of progress right away in your feet is that your feet are going to look less skinny, bony, and frail and will appear to look more meaty and puffy. This meatiness is actually a sign of positive development of sustainable foot strength and health and is actually one of the best changes to your feet. The most well-known effect of barefooting and going minimalist is that you are going to get a more robust response in muscle activity and more concentrated engagements of the intrinsic musculature within the foot leading to global increases in muscle volume in the foot. These physical changes of the foot spurred on by barefooting and going minimalist has really turned out to be very much confirmed in not only widespread anecdotal evidence, but it's worth noting that a 2014 study published in the Journal of Sport and Health Science, which is linked down below in the description box, the study found that runners who transitioned from running in traditional running shoes to running in minimalistic running shoes had a dramatic increase in muscle volume of the foot, as well as rapid improvements in foot strength. This is because obviously the mobility architecture of many true minimalist style running shoes, shoes that are well crafted to mimic the properties of being barefoot, prompts a major push in muscular involvement within the entire foot, which translates into greater muscle volume, which can really fortify the foot against many common foot ailments. And of course, when it comes to running, a stronger foot can improve the quality of your landing stability and reduces the mechanical burdens that flow from balance and stabilities. But sometimes minimalist running shoes may not always do enough to fully dial up muscular activity and engagement at the highest level in the foot because in minimalist running shoes, there's still very limited sensory resources acting on the nerves in the feet, which may actually dial down muscle activity, potentially resulting in slowed development in foot strength. Whereas barefoot walking and barefoot running may bring more immediate responses in intrinsic muscle stimulation, which can help speed things forward in developing a stronger, more resilient, healthier foot. For instance, when you run barefoot, the top of your foot will become more meaty almost right away because not only is there a greater ability to stimulate more robust engagements throughout all areas of the foot, there's also an injection of pressure waves that surge through the foot that are crucial to the formation of stronger, more volumized fat pads, particularly the fat pads that surround the metatarsal heads that line the top of the foot, resulting in sudden gains in fat pad density and the fat pads become more expanded, more durable and more volumized and more able to have a protective role in assisting in impact absorption while providing greater internal structural reinforcements within the foot, which is very necessary to ensure sustained foot strength. This is how barefoot running may help furnish a stronger, more viable, more stable, less injury prone foot at a more accelerated rate as compared to minimalistic running shoes. In contrast, Deficits in fat pad volume, strength, and durability is almost universal with routine use of traditional running shoes given the low rate of muscular engagement and suppressed levels of pressure and mechanoreceptor stimulation within the nerves of the foot, which is why the net effect of habitually wearing traditional running shoes are often increased defections in the feet steadily 
declining of foot strength and function, which may put you on a less secure path forward during running and even walking. Whereas because of the removal of structural barriers, you can continue to improve foot strength with minimalist shoes. But I also think it's very important to put a real emphasis on barefoot walking and barefoot running on leading the charge in speeding up progress in curating a more effective, functioning, resilient foot. So I just wanted to highlight some of the most notable physical changes to the feet commonly associated with going minimalist, but especially from going barefoot, in that when you run and walk barefoot, the physical appearance of your feet are going to be more fast changing. These changes that I just described, greater muscle volume, shouldn't be alarming, but should really be embraced as changes that will make it increasingly easier for the feet to match the challenges of running long distances. I hope you've enjoyed this video. To stay updated on all the latest research regarding the health and performance benefits of barefoot running, as well as minimalist running, hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Have fun out there on the roads and trails. Bye for now.